Hey guys, I am bringing you my August favorites today, my best in beauty, um, all of the things that I've really been enjoying over the past month, or even more in some cases. I know this is the part where everyone says, I can't believe the summer's flying by, but seriously, it's gonna be my child's first birthday in the month of September, September 21st, and I can't believe it. And I'm not gonna dwell on that subject because for whatever reason, I feel like I just get emotional whenever I start thinking about her turning one. I don't know what it is. It just makes me emotional. I don't know what to say, and I don't know if my camera's straight yet either, but we'll go with this. Also, I wanted to say a huge thank you to everybody who asked great questions in my Q&A video. That was my last video here on this channel. Amazing questions, really, really sweet comments comments too. Like, I couldn't believe. I told Tyler, I was like, people are being so, so sweet in the comments section. So thank you so much for the great response on that video. It was very personal, so I, I feel like, I don't know, it, it means even more when I see your nice responses to it. Also, a little announcement, I'm getting back to doing the Stuff I Love videos on my vlog channel, which are totally random favorites, so I'm not sure if that will go up before or after this video, but um, whenever it is up, I will add a link to the description box so you can check that out. Totally random favorites, a lot of food favorites actually. But starting off with this video, something I am very excited to share with you is my little um, blush method. This is um, kind of a series of products, and I don't think you would have to use these exact products, but these few have been kind of the ones I've gotten in the swing of using. But most importantly, I think it's just a method of applying the blush that really is working. So here's what I use. A highlight that has just the teeniest amount of shimmer, then a very glowy highlight, and then a matte blush. Okay? So so for example, these are the products I use, um, and this would be after I've got, you know, maybe I've bronzed or I've done a little bit of contour, and then I use my Laura Geller Baked French Vanilla, which I love, this is a much loved product, and I put that just for overall lightness, like in this whole area here, okay? Then I take a very shimmery highlight, such as a Mary Luminizer, and I take that right on top of the cheekbones here, so like chunk right there from top of the cheek back. And now normally I would apply blush before highlight, but I find applying the blush after, particularly when it's a matte blush, it does something so beautiful. It takes the edge off of that really shimmery highlight a little bit, but it just gives the prettiest look. So I've been using Tarte's Doll Face quite a bit and just applying that right over the top and I feel like I still get glow, but it's, I don't know, even looking up close at my face, I just think the look is so pretty. It's almost a little more natural than just, you know, boop, there's my shimmery highlight on top of everything. I still feel like my skin looks very glowy, but it's just in a less obvious makeup looking way. So try that. I'm not saying you have to have these exact products, but a matte blush, shimmery highlight, and a less shimmery highlight. Just see what happens and tell me your feedback. There was a little, like, sample bag that Ulta gave out. Well, they didn't give it out. You had to spend a certain amount to get it, and mine was, like, fluorescent yellow, and it had all these, like, pretty decent samples inside and one that I just love so much. Um, I've never heard of this brand before until now. It's called Wish W-H-I-S-H Body Butter and this is the almond scent. This smells so freaking good. Oh my gosh, sweet almond. Holy sweet almond. It smells so sweet and delicious. It says organic shea butter, organic raspberry butter, and organic aloe in this thing. And I know it says body butter, um, but it's not as thick as a lot of body butters I have. Most things labeled body butter are in like a little tub for me, you know, like I think of the body shop kinds. Um, this is much, much lighter than those. It feels just like a traditional lotion. It still does seem to retain some moisture, so I love that. I wanna mention my lip product real quick. This this is a lip product that I like primarily for the color and the scent. <laughs> Another scent related thing here. It's my The Balm Meat Matte Hues and this is in the shade Committed. I've worn this several times on Snapchat. I just burped. <laughs> it's just a very easy shade. It's peachy, it's fresh, but it's also that matte finish. Um, it does stay the teeniest bit um, tacky on my lips. I think I've compared this to the feel of the NYX um, liquid suede, but now the more I'm wearing it, I'm thinking it's, while it stays a bit tacky, it's not quite as tacky as those. You feel me? And the scent on these, they smell just like thin mint Girl Scout cookies right on the money, like not even slightly different or almost like that, they smell exactly like that. 
Smell yours if you have it. I mean, there is nothing else that those smell like but Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. And sometimes with these liquid lipsticks, something to be aware of is that they can reliquify, even though you feel like they've, for the most part, set on your lips and they're nice and matte. Once, you know, you start eating or drinking and you get liquid in contact with your lips, they can kind of break down a bit or actually start transferring off. So for day-to-day -day wear, when I'm not really like keeping an eye on my lips constantly and really wanting to bother with a lot of touch-ups, the more natural shades can be a little little bit easier to pull off. So shades like Committed, this one, um, love it. Now another lip product I want to mention just because I've been using it tons over the past month, but I don't use it on top of my liquid lipsticks. I'm not saying you can't put gloss on top of those, but when you do, you will start having the reliquifying happen and um, they can easily transfer off. Just something to be aware of, but if you guys need a good nude gloss, I've talked about this before, but this is Nude Ballet from L'Oreal. It's one of their extraordinary lip colors. I don't even know how I still have any left in this tube, but it is such a great nude gloss. It's really nice alone on top of lip liner, on top of that nude lipstick that you think, oh, it makes my lips look a little dead. You know, put some of this on top. It's so comfortable. It's got a beautiful shine and it's just the right color. So I just wanted to give that a little shout out because I find like maybe I've used something that's a little darker than I want it to be on my lips, still in the neutral family. And like, this is what I'm grabbing out of this drawer to pop on top. I have started experimenting with quite a few different things from Makeup Revolution. Um, Ulta is carrying this brand now. They do a lot of palettes, some other things as well, but um, just a lot of different palettes that are $10 or less. And one that I've really been liking is this Ultra Blush palette, but it's called All About Bronzed and it's really, really good. I've actually been foregoing a lot of heavy contouring just to use this because I feel like there is one shade in here that's a little darker than my skin tone that I will use for just maybe the super softest contour, but it's kind of fun because these shades up top can make beautiful highlights, and then you've got some matte shades right here, and then these shades, I think they were labeled as baked, and one is a little more golden, and one is a gorgeous shimmery highlight. So I've just been loving playing with this palette. I also have um, the blush palette in Sugar and Spice, and this one has a lot of pinky blushes, and these, anytime I've been wearing these highlights, I've had questions about them. But there's a nice big mirror in these palettes, and I've just had fun, like, kind of mixing and experimenting and going for that bronzy look that's not overly chiseled and really, really overdone from the contouring perspective. If you have tan or deep skin, I think you'd definitely be able to take advantage of the lighter shades as highlights, but the bronzers probably wouldn't do much for you. Just keep that in mind. And a couple couple of other palettes that I want to mention. One seems to be my low maintenance, like grab it in a hurry type thing. And it's not even something I think I recognized in a previous review I did on the Express channel. It's not something I really pointed out as, oh my gosh, I love this so much, but it's just turned out to be a convenience for me. You know what I'm saying? And then the other palette I'm going to mention is what I reach for when I have time to play. But this is the Naked on the Run palette. Yeah, I reviewed this, uh, it seems like months ago on the Express channel. It contains a Perversion Mascara, which I'm just about out of. It's just on its last legs. Um, oh, eyeliner and Stag. This is the Naked Gloss. What was the shade this came in? Uh, Sesso. Then you've got these eyeshadows. This can be like an eyeshadow or highlight, and then bronzer blush. So it's a lot in one palette with a big old mirror, and I have just found, like over the past few weeks, um, if I can't be in this room doing my makeup, and I just need to grab a few things out. It's like, okay, when I grab this out, it's like I've grabbed, you know, the equivalent of a whole makeup bag full of things. And I just need um, my eyelash curler and a couple of brushes. And it's like my, my foundation concealer, whatever I'm going to use from that respect. So it really takes the thought out of planning your makeup look. And I love planning my makeup look and I love taking my time, but there are some days where it's just not feasible. And this has been such a quick thing to reach for. Um, I love the quality of Urban Decay's eyeshadows. The blush I think is really pretty and fresh. I'm not loving this particular bronzer shade. It's very, very, um, I don't know, it comes off a, a teeny bit orangey. The one um, thing that kind of ticks me off is that they put 
the uh, mascara in here, but mascara is going to be the kind of thing you're going to go through repeatedly. So what else is going to fit in here since, like I said, I'm about out of the perversion and it's kind of a special size. It's smaller than a lot of full-size mascaras, but I have realized, I've already been planning, that um, any sample sizes that I have of Tarte's Lights Camera Lashes will fit in there nicely. But this is the kind of thing I don't know that I would have identified it really as like a super favorite of life, you know, but it is is just one of those things that's turned out to be so convenient. Um, and then the other thing, this probably isn't coming at a, as a huge surprise since this was one of my five um, high-end products worth trying mentioned in a recent video, um, but my Anastasia Shadow Couture World Traveler palette. I just think it's gorgeous. I'm loving these shades. I love that there's color variety, but there's also just really simple, easy shades. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, I've actually got some soft peach all over the eye area, a little bit of Bellini all over my lips and then a little Morocco just lightly in the crease and I used fudge um, just smudge that on the outer part of the lower lash line that's this brownish shade so you can take it in a ton of different directions I feel like I want the absolute softest easiest route today okay, two more things to mention one is a lash um, these Vegas Ney by Eyelore lashes I have tried two styles and I have absolutely loved them both one of them that I talked about before I know it's really given you a lot to go on here with this empty box but the Shining Star style is very thick. Um, I think the lashes are a bit shorter. And then the one that I'm loving the most is actually the kind of the red box called Easy Elegance. And I'm wearing those today so you can see them. They are long, they're kind of wispy, and I just, I've gotten so many uses out of these, you guys. Like the last three weeks I have worn these so much on and off and the quality of like the lash band and the lashes themselves um, it has not changed one bit I've been really really happy with these one thing I found with both styles is that they're very long left to right so I have had to trim them up and with these these have such beautiful length at the outer edges normally I trim from the outside when I need to shorten the lashes but these I actually trimmed a little bit from the inner part because they were like so so tapered down I thought I could get away with it and I could um, they still blend really nicely down into the inner corner so just I don't know something to think about if you like the really nice length on the outside you can still keep that I think with these last thing my fellow mask users this is one I would totally totally recommend um, it makes my skin feel so soft afterwards it's like I feel hydrated and soft but not in a dewy and tacky way your skin just feels so comfortable after you use this thing and I really think it could work for all skin types that's what it says on the outside here it's the Freeman diamond mineral rinse mask so you just put it on leave it for um, five to seven minutes and rinse it off now I have not found this in a full size so I've purchased multiple of these little pouches which say they are two to four applications which I, I'd say that's fairly accurate depending on how much you like to slather on at one time I find these at the end of the beauty aisle in Walmart and um, between one and two bucks I think it's just a steal just get yourself one try it out um, tell me what you think I think you're going to absolutely love the way your skin feels it's just a nice little treat we all have busy days days that leave you feeling like kicked in the butt at the end of them so this is a nice way to just give yourself a little something back give yourself a little time even if you're still busy you know you can do things while you wear a face mask but your skin will thank you for it I think when you're done so thank you guys so much for watching my latest best in beauty video I hope you got a few ideas if not certain product recommendations just some different ideas maybe for the way you're using things or you might think oh I have something just like that you know in my collection already um, that's what I hope to do is just kind of inspire and share some ideas in videos like this so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon bye